Greetings, my friends. Jimmer Linz here with your Source Filmmaker Tip of the Day. Today is Tip of the Day number 17, and as always, thank you for tuning in. It's a great pleasure to bring you these tips. Uh, today is going to be a really quick one. I got started a little bit later than I wanted to, and uh, but it's still going to be useful for all of that, I believe. Uh, in an earlier tip of the day, we've discussed uh, things like field of view and so forth. And one of the most common uh, issues that I have seen with uh, source filmmaker videos, including a couple of my very early ones, is that the default field of view for a um, for a camera in Team Fortress 2 and Source Filmmaker tends to be pretty wide angle. Uh, and that is so that while you're playing the game, you can see as much as possible and react to it. Uh, but that's kind of the point of the game. Uh, that doesn't really look right when you're trying to do something a little bit more cinematic, like say in Source Filmmaker, where you're trying to make something a little bit more movie-like. And so a lot of times what you'll hear is recommendations to narrow down your field of view and use depth of field and uh, so forth and aperture to define uh, the characteristics of your scene. And, you know, there's been entire books written about cinematography, so we're not going to get into the details of that. But I will show you a couple of quick tricks here using the lens presets in Source Filmmaker. The lens presets are ways where you can effectively take any camera that you've created an animation set for and kind of set it to what closely resembles the actual lenses, standard lens types that you would see uh, being used uh, on regular video cameras. Uh, I am no cinematographer. I don't actually know a whole lot about video equipment, but I do know that there's different size lenses that produce a different field of view. And so if you look here, in Source Filmmaker, um, this is an already existing scene that I've got. And um, on the left, you'll see it says uh, Camera 2 over here, where I've got the field of view, focal distance, and all of that. And I've got this tab here. The Lenses tab is open. Uh, and I'm just uh, showing you there's several different presets here with uh, different sizes, from 105 millimeters down to 10.8 millimeters. And rather than manually adjusting the field of view, you can just grab one of these and adjust to a certain size. Like there's a 50 millimeter preset, 24 millimeters, 14, 10. And as you can see, the lower the number, the wider the field of view. So if you're looking for really close up shots, like I'm ready for my close up, Mr. DeMille, uh, then you might want to go for the 85 or the 105 millimeter. It's up to you. But these will produce. Uh, effects that are going to be, not effects, but they will produce a frame that is effectively pretty close to the ones that you would see in real life. I definitely recommend, regardless of what you're choosing to do, that you definitely narrow the field of view down from like the 75 or 90 degree field of view that you'll see in game. Because uh, I play TF2, for example, with a 90 degree field of view. And that looks really weird and distorted when you're trying to do a video. Uh, with it. So uh, for what it's worth, those are your lens presets. Uh, and just like a lot of the other presets in TF2, they are extremely useful in TF2. <laughs> in Source Filmmaker, they are extremely useful, and uh, I hope you get a lot of use out of them. Uh, so the lens presets, just you have to have an animation set for a camera, and you have to have that camera selected. And then you have to obviously be in the motion editor or the graph editor. Uh, and then you just grab the preset and drag it, and you will get different uh, different fields of view automatically, stock sets of field of view. So uh, with that, the Lens presets, this has been your Source Filmmaker Tip of the Day. I am Jimmer Lens, and I thank you for watching. And as always, enjoy using Source Filmmaker.